Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News at 6. Only on two, a disgusting soda surprise. A local grandfather says there was a rodent in his grandson's Dr. Pepper. You think of rabies, you think of dirty, filthy rodents. What did he ingest? What the family did next and how the company is responding tonight. Now, that grandfather contacted us asking for help because he's concerned for his grandson's health. It definitely is disturbing. You saw the video. We want to let you know that we have more images, and some of you may find them graphic. Our Jennifer Bauer joining us live in Katy, where she spoke with that family only on two tonight. Jen? Well, the family lives here in Katy, Bill, but they bought that soda down in Galveston yesterday. They say at first they didn't notice anything was wrong because, as you can see, Dr. Pepper is very dark and it's difficult to see in the bottle. They say they didn't make the discovery until the bottle was half empty. Floating in this half empty 20 ounce bottle of Dr. Pepper is some sort of rodent. It's got beady eyes, small ears, and a tail. A pretty good size, about three inches long with a big tail. John Graves' three-year-old grandson, Caden, drank the Dr. Pepper on Sunday. They gave it to him while he sat in his car seat. He didn't finish it, so they put the cap back on. This morning, when they opened it, they saw something floating there. You think of rabies, you think of dirty, filthy rodents. You know, what, what did he ingest? Worried, they called their pediatrician and took Caden in. They did blood and urine samples. Um, contacted the state of Texas and contacted the CDC. The family also contacted Dr. Pepper. A spokesperson told them and us they want the bottle so they can run tests on it. But the Graves family wants to have their own testing done before handing the bottle over to Dr. Pepper's people. I want to get the rat tested, see where it came from, how it got there, and if there's really any, you know, medical concerns that we need to be worried about. Now, in a statement from Dr. Pepper's corporate office, they told me that given the controls and safeguards we have in our production facilities, it is virtually impossible for any foreign object to enter any container during the bottling process. All of our containers enter our facility on pallets in our warehouse and remain covered until the moment they are placed on our high-speed filling lines. Once on the filling lines, they are inverted and rinsed out before they are filled and capped. The family tells me tonight they are considering uh, talking to a lawyer and then working with Dr. Pepper to figure out what the next steps are. The family also insists. They say there is no way that rat got into the bottle after they purchased it. We are live tonight in Katy. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.